What's going on everybody this is Doolistry and today we are going to learn how to use line tool inside Adobe Photoshop and how to create different kind of strokes with line tool and also we will learn how to create some guide with this line tool in Photoshop. So without adding further ado let's jump into the tutorial. So let's start with line tool so this is Photoshop this is Photoshop CC okay 2013 so I'm going to file so let's start with file new and here I'm going to keep the same settings like width is 1000 height is 1000 pixels and resolution I will keep it 300 you can make it uh, less or more it's up to you so if you want a printed version then it's the resolution should be 150 or more 300 should be perfect and if you want a wave version then 72 is fine so hit ok now here is my document and i'm just re renaming it so first of all i'm just clicking right clicking on the layer and making it layer from background hit ok and just clicking it double clicking it renaming it to line tool okay so here i will show you all the things related to line tool photoshop so where i can find this line tool now uh, the line tool you will find at the left side of the tool option as you can see here mainly you will get it as this like rectangle tool you have to right click on the mouse and you will get the line tool here okay so here is the line tool so now what I will do, I will take another layer and I will go to here, as you can see here it is shape, so I will keep it as shape and uh, I will make the fill none and stroke, this one is fine but doesn't matter uh, what exactly you are keeping as stroked. I mean, uh, if you are keeping it 3 or 1 doesn't matter because the line tool will take it as default so by clicking on line tool you can do multiple things as you can see like on the right hand side you will find here uh, the a, a drop down so if you click on that so here you will find different kind of stroke options so I'm going to use this uh, normal stroke option but if you want you can use this one as well and from here you will get more options so I'm showing you like uh, if you just click on the line tool shift button press the shift key and drag okay so you will get a perfect smooth and straight line and as you can see this is a this is a you know stroked a dotted stroke line so how did I get it so if I click on that so as you can see here I have selected this dotted line so if you go to more option here you can change the preset okay as you can see different kind of dotted lines are there you can choose this one you can choose this one and from here you can change the alignment you can change it inside you can change it corner center and caps you can change it to round so if you change it to round then you know like you will get the kind of round stroke okay so and if you change it to like uh square then you will get a square kind of thing so here you can from this drop down you can change the dash uh, amount of dash you need like here i can see it is four i can change it to six and gap i can change it to three and hitting okay and now if i do this yeah as you can see the space is very less now it's 
almost invisible okay so I better go to there and I will increase the gap size like I will make it 8 okay and hit okay if now if I do that yeah you can you can see now the gap is more okay so this is how line tool works and line tool is basically uh, you can use it for multiple purpose but mainly what I can see is it is used for uh, it is mainly used as a guide maybe uh, as a perspective guide maybe as different kind of guides because if you click on shift key and if you drag it it gives you a perfect straight line similarly you can get a 90 degree angle straight line like this and if if you click and shift and you can get a perfect 45 degree angle line as well but to get other angles I mean to get other lines you just have to skip the shift part because if I need a uh, suppose a 35 degree angle or like you know as you can see you will be able to see the angle size here as I'm dragging this this is minus 73 74 yeah, 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 yeah. just like that 23 okay so if you need this then you will skip the shift part because if you once you click the shift part by default it will be either 0 degree or 90 degree 90 degree 0 degree or 45 degree or minus 135 degree just the opposite yeah so you will get this kind of thing this kind of angle through shift key but if you want other angles just skip the shift key part okay so this is what the line tool actually works and mainly you can use it for one point two point three point perspective and for other kind of thing as well and for guide this is for this can be used for guidelines as well so here so here is my center point and as you can see I'm dragging this line tool and I'm getting all the guidelines to do my artworks get the latest updates about art design and self-development subscribe to my channel doodle and hit a thumbs up if you like it and pass them on to somebody who might like this too